Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall be teaching you 10 tips to save battery life on your iPhone. Starting off with cellular data. Now, I know most of you use cellular data for internet connections, but what if I told you that cellular data is the most thing that drains battery life on your iPhone? Because it requires constant connections to get better internet and uh, good reception. But using Wi-Fi, it doesn't drain a lot of battery. So. If you're someone who use a lot of uh, internet using cellular data, I highly recommend buying a modem or a router because this is going to help you save battery life on your iPhone. Tip number two, update your apps more frequently. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the app store and see all the necessary apps that you need to update. You'll tap on the, this icon here. You'll see where the apps that need to be updated. As you can see, I have updated all my apps that need to be updated because developers push updates that will help apps to run smoothly that will help you maintain battery life along the way tip number three is music haptics now for those who don't know what music haptics is it's essentially where you are playing music and the phone starts to vibrate so this you won't find it on spotify it's only on apple music so if you are a person who uses uh, apple music you are going to need to turn this off if you've turned it on because the vibration motor keeps on vibrating making the phone to drain more compared to when you're not using it so what you're going to do is you're going to come to the settings and search for music haptics you see me i already have uh turned it on off so when you turn it on let's say and you play a sample the phone will start vibrating immediately so if you want to save battery life make sure to turn this off so tip number three is <laughs> please stop closing your apps this is more common especially uh, for new users if you're someone who closed their apps after using it you are doing it wrong like let's say for this example you see i don't close my apps ever again i and i will never do that because ios 18 and other versions of ios app has built this uh system where it knows that if you're not uh, physically uh, using your phone those apps won't run in the background or else unless you open them that's when they will run so stop closing your apps more frequently just leave them even if you start or, or shut down your phone never close your apps because when you close an app and open it again it uses more battery when opening compared to when it was already running in the background tip number four never use widgets especially those widgets like weather stocks widget they are very uh, power intensive and they use a lot of battery because they keep running in the background and updating what I would recommend is you'd rather open the app and see what's running. Because when you open, let's say these widgets here and add them, they will use a lot of battery and you don't want that. Tip number five, use dark mode. Now, I know most people are not familiar with dark mode, but if you are, you'll find uh, your phone will not drain a lot of battery compared when you use light mode. So it's basically simple. Go to your settings app, go to the display and brightness here. So when you turn on light mode, it doesn't dim the, the whole screen but when you turn on the dark mode it dims these OLED uh, displays making the phone to save more battery compared to when you are using light mode so make sure to use dark mode and dark mode is basically better than light mode tip number six you should turn off location services especially those that you don't use because Apple keeps on tracking and other apps keep on tracking making the phone uh, lose more battery compared to when you're not using those services so what you are going to do is you're going to go to the settings uh tap on the search and search for location services it will be the first thing that you see tap on location services and you'll see which apps are using uh location so let's say the camera you don't need the camera to, to know your location uh, messages pinterest of course some apps uh you may want to use location especially like uber safe ride all those other apps whatsapp but majorly you can say never to never use those services so another tip is background app refresh <laughs> this is the most uh corporate when it comes to uh, draining your battery when you turn this on it will basically keep the apps running even the apps that you don't use so what you are going to do is you are going to come to the search and search for background app refresh so background app refresh uh, allows apps to refresh their content when on Wi-Fi or cellular. Like I said, cellular data takes a lot of battery life. So if you are someone who's on Wi-Fi, it's better to use it only on Wi-Fi. Or you can basically turn it off because 
if you have like an iPhone 11, 12, those models, I'm sure they have weak battery, but make sure to leave it on Wi-Fi. Or you can turn some of them that you don't use. It's now like these ones. You don't need for them to run in the background, so you can turn the, them off. Another tip is uh, mail fetch. So this is basically uh, when they send you an email, you will see a notification coming in. The application keeps on refreshing and fetching more data to send you those new emails. But you can basically open the app and send new emails whenever they come. So what you are going to do is you are going to go to the search button and search for mail. It will be the first thing that comes up. So you tap on mail and search all these apps are using your mail. Lastly but not least, update your phone always. I know some people don't like doing this but trust me, when a new version of iOS comes out, make sure to update your phone because it brings more features and uh, those features may be maybe utilizing the battery life of your iPhone. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to the setting, um, general and go to software update. So you will see if there's a new software update. As you see, we are on iOS.3.2. So your phone will be up to date. Let me know in the comments if you found these uh, tips helpful. Leave a like to this video to be helpful. And let me know uh, which other videos you like to see in the next video. Thank you for watching.